Electronics Hints heartily welcome you to know hints of the amplifier. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Receive more electronics information. Kindly suggest your valuable feedback to improve the forthcoming videos. Thank you. The magnitude and the power of the signal from the mic or the camera is not sufficient to operate the speaker or the picture tube. So, the amplifier is required to increase voltage and power level of the signal. The common emitter amplifier is mostly used because its current gain and voltage gain are moderately high. The amplification signal amplifier is not sufficient in practical, so the multi-stage amplifier is used. The device, biasing circuit, load, stabilizing circuit and coupling circuit are parts of an amplifier. The transistor amplifier is a current operated circuit. The fit amplifier is a voltage operated circuit. The transformer coupling provides very high gain but has low bandwidth. The overall gain of the receiver depends on the IF amplifier stage. The small signal amplifier is the voltage amplifier. The large signal amplifier is the power amplifier. The load of the voltage amplifier is another amplifier. The emitter follower is a buffer stage with high input impedance, low output impedance and a gain of approximately unity. The load of the power amplifier is the actual load like the speaker or relay or picture tube etc. Humming is produced in the transformer coupled amplifier. The common collector amplifier is used as a voltage buffer. The common base amplifier is used as a current buffer. The IC amplifier is the op-amp. The Darlington amplifier is a multi-transistor configuration. Class D amplifiers are those that output a switching waveform. Class E amplifier is a highly efficient tuned switching power amplifier used at radio frequencies. The cascaded amplifier is the series amplifier. The cascode amplifier is the parallel amplifier. The transformer coupling amplifier is known as impedance matching amplifier. RC amplifier is the basic coupling amplifier. The traveling tube amplifier is a high power and high frequency amplifier. The swamped amplifier has high thermal stability. The switching amplifier is used as a power amplifier. The isolating amplifier prevents electrical conduction between two circuits that are still supposed to exchange power or signals among each other. The distortion is appeared in the amplifier is due to the improper biasing. The push-pull amplifier is the power amplifier. The first stage is the voltage amplifier. The IF amplifier is the middle stage and the power amplifier is the final stage in a receiver. The CC amplifier is the non-inverting amplifier. The other name of the buffer amplifier is isolation amplifier. The differential amplifier is a combination of inverting and non-inverting amplifiers and the amplifies the voltage difference between input lines neither of which is grounded. Amplifiers are classified according to the input, the output, configuration, biasing methods, the load, operating frequency, number stages, method of coupling, etc. The amplifiers uses the negative feedback. The negative feedback reduces the gain. The negative feedback increases bandwidth, stability, reduces harmonic distortion, noise, frequency distortion and phase distortion. It modifies input and output resistance. The class A amplifier transformer coupled power has 50% efficiency. The class B power amplifier has 78.5% efficiency. The push-pull amplifier is used. It has the crossover distortion. The class AB power is free from the crossover distortion. The class C power amplifier is a tuned amplifier. It may reach 100% efficiency. Thanks to Google and Books. Kindly forgive the mistakes in the video. Thank you for your visit to this channel. Kindly view the next video. Thanks.